Hi, and welcome to Rachel Kasky Art. Don't forget to subscribe. Today, I am showing my process for painting my pig painting. Um, here at the beginning, I uh, just put some marks down on my paper um, using pencil. It was colored pencil in this instance, and uh, I um, put down some water-soluble crayons. Uh, what's nice about water soluble crayons is you can actually move around the colors with water to create some really cool effects. Now this is just going to be my starting layer. These colors will show up um, underneath the paints that I put on top. Okay, I went in with charcoal and I'm wetting that down with water. Take a little tea break there. Okay, and um, I just spread around the colors a little there. Okay. So uh, I saw this technique of just using whatever you have available around your house, and I had this old bottle that just has been sitting around my place. So I figured I'd um, put some paint on the bottom and get some uh, cool um, square shapes from that bottle as well as the other side with the, the round opening. And because I'm an impatient painter, I go ahead and dry those so that I can continue uh, painting. And I'm talking to my mother on the phone about upcoming Mother's Day holiday <laughs> while I uh, work on my painting. She's impressed with my multitasking skills, or at least that's what she says. Um, at this point, when I started this painting, I had no idea it was going to be a pig. Uh, I usually start my paintings that way where I don't, have a nece I don't necessarily have a theme in mind. And then later on, it comes to me what I want to... Um, do with it. See, as you can tell, I can't tell yet what what this painting is doing or where it's going. So I, I looked at it a couple times and was like, okay, I'm going to put down some gray paint and see where that takes me. And I'm taking a little bit off to reveal the the paint and the markings underneath. Okay, let's see where I'm going with this next. All right, I went in with some orange to brighten up the, the page. And then I came in with a uh, colored pencil afterwards to make some markings and I'm coloring in those uh, markings. I even use Sharpies sometimes in my art. As you can tell, I'm not a very organized painter. <laughs> I just have all my supplies at hand and look through and decide what I'm going to use at that time. And I'm talking with my hands, of course, to my mom. All right. And of course, I go for one of my favorite colors, teal, to brighten up the whole page. And there are a couple times um, in this process where I could have stopped because I liked, you know, what it looked like, but for some reason, I just didn't feel it was quite finished yet. Like, I still didn't know where this was going at this point. Just randomly adding some extra color. At this point, honestly, I thought I was 
going from a straight abstract look without putting anything over top of it. I had no concept that I was going to make this into a pig painting. I have no idea what I was looking at there. Okay, add some interest with some black markings. And uh, I wanted to add a little collage piece of red right there, red piece of paper. I always um, love when other abstract painters do that where they add a, um, one or more pieces of paper, um, collage pieces to their artwork. So I really wanted to try that out in this piece. And I looked at that one, I didn't think it fit, so I decided not to go with it. Okay, so I'm going in with this darker red, red color. It looks almost like a rust color. It's a departure from my usual colors. Um, that's a darker than I usually use. So I wasn't sure where I was going with this. As you can see, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing and I'm like, oh, I'm destroying it. I, I put more paint on, I'm like, it's destroyed. I'm looking at it I'm like, okay, where else can I go with this? Turned it around, I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do? And that's when I got the idea because I'd been talking to friends and family about painting a pig painting sometime, but uh, the inspiration just hit me at that moment. Like, ah, oh, you know what would look good on this color? A pig. And it was just the perfect spot where um, the ear was because it was already had that black that droop that you know dropped down from there. And I wanted to add a little bit of interest to the pig's body with a couple of colors there, the teal and the orange. Just to add a couple of shapes in the background, and I didn't want to overdo it because I already did the background so much. I I didn't want to overdo the the painting after that so i hope you enjoyed my uh pig painting video and uh, please like and subscribe bye